Hey guys, today we're going to talk about my pink eyeshadow collection. These are all the eyeshadows that I own right now. Um, I plan on buying more, but I decided to show you what I have for now. Um, also, there's no palettes involved. It's just single eyeshadows. Some of my palettes do have pink, but I wanted to make it simple and show you guys just the single pink eyeshadows. I'll also be telling you where I got these eyeshadows at, the price, and a little review on them, and a swatch. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So today with my swatch, I'm going to be using a makeup brush. This is a oval shadow brush, and I like to use this for my eyeshadow, one of my favorite brushes. And these are called the crown brush. So if you can see that, okay. Um, I'll also be using baby wipes to take off the swatches, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the first eyeshadow I've been wearing a lot lately, I love this one. I got this at the Chicago Hair Show, and it looks like this. And this was retailed for 7 bucks. Love it. It was worth it. It has a shimmer to it. So this is what it looks like. And um, on the back, it says it's Marabella Eyelights Pink Blossom, copyright 2014. So I'll show you the back, so if you guys want to look for this online, okay? I love this eyeshadow, it goes on really well. You gotta put more than one layer though to really get the pink pigment to show on your eyes. And also use eye primer. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this for you guys. So that's what it looks like on the brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch it. Now you may not be able to see it really clearly. I'm gonna out, I'm gonna um, put more than one layer so you guys can really see that. Okay, very shimmery. It has a little bit of glitter in it. Um, I use this all the time. I'm shocked I even still have any left. So that's what that one looks like. Very shimmery, very pink eyeshadow. Um, the next one, which I recently got is the Jordana um, Baked Eyeshadow. So I showed you guys this in my last makeup haul. I did use this a few times now and I like it. It's a very pretty color, very pigmented. I'm gonna try to get this open. And this was uh, like a dollar something during their Kmart sale, which they are having a sale still. So I still plan on buying some makeup for my makeup haul, another makeup haul I plan on doing. So I'm going to do a quick swatch for you guys. This is what it looks like before I start swatching. The container is really hard to open. That's the only downfall about these. And the color is After Party Pink 207. And they do have their own website. So if you're interested. Hold on one second. Let me put one more layer on. This is coming on very dark. I might have a light. I might have to use. Let me just use the applicator to this. Okay, so this one's a little lighter, and the applicator just broke. Those applicators that come with these are a piece of junk. So I advise you to use a, use a brush, but with that applicator, it comes out more pigmented. So there's that one. The Jordana is this one. So it's a little lighter than the other one. So if you can see that. Um, a very pretty eyeshadow. Typically, I put a, a second different type of eyeshadow over it. Something with glitter on it. So, I use that one more for a base. The Jordana one. I'm getting some baby wipes so I can wipe off some of the stuff. Alright. So, the next ones I'm going to show you is the LA Color. Um, shimmer loose eyeshadow with brush so that's what that looks like you can get these at the dollar store and if you guys hear any noises my cat is jumping around so I'm sorry about that so that's what they look like um, they have a gold a white one a purple one and I know I used to have a brown one a long time ago I own the purple one as well um, got this for a dollar at the dollar store works very well it stays on like for hours very shimmery I wear this a lot over any pink eyeshadow okay now this one, when I use it, I take this brush out because this brush is a piece of junk. I've used this in the past. I mean, it's, it's the truth. It's just not worth it. So what I do 
is I dumped the eyeshadow in the lid because this eyeshadow can get really messy. Okay, I put a little bit in there and then I take my makeup brush that I'm using that morning and I just put it on. But when I put it on my eyes, I go like, I go at an angle like this on my eyes and just press it. Now my wrist, I'm just doing it flat so I can just do a swatch for you guys. But I figured out a technique is just to put it like this and just dab it very lightly and you'll get it. So that way you don't have a lot of fallout. And if you do have a lot of fallout, make sure you're doing your eyes first and your eyebrows before you go on to foundation and concealer because you're going to regret it. It's going to go everywhere on your foundation and concealer. And you don't want pink splotches on your face unless you like to look like that. So that's a swatch of that. It's a little messy swatch, but like I said, it's very, a lot of fallout happens with this one. So I want you guys to see that. And for a dollar, it's very pigmented and works really good. So I would recommend this for anybody, especially if you like pink and glitter. I love anything glittery. I've been getting a lot of glitter eyeshadows lately. So yeah, so that's that one. The third, the third eye, the fourth eyeshadow, I'm sorry. I was like, what the heck? I know I have, I've already went through three of them. The third eyeshadow is a lighter pink. And this is from Sally's. And I got this, 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 there, ah. I got this there in their sale. Um, it's a magic eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and open this for you guys. And let me make wipe off my makeup brush real fast. Just gonna take a second and kind of. I'm telling you, baby wipes are the bomb when it comes to makeup. Make sure you wash your brushes too, but just for videos, just to quickly wipe them off. So this is what this one looks like. Just a very light pink, and the color is. What is the color? Charmed. And also the LA Colors is called Lollipop, just to let you guys know. So this one's called Charmed. This one's more of, like, I would say like an eyeshadow, like a very natural pink. It's not all out there. It has more of a shimmer to it. Ooh, you can even use this as a highlighter. That is gorgeous. Yeah, this is gorgeous. All right, this is very light. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on camera. Let me put one more layer. Some of these eyeshadows are very light. So again, that's what that looks like. And I'll go ahead and show you the swatch. Sally's makeup is actually pretty good, some of their stuff. This is very pigmented, very shimmery. I really like this. You can use this as a highlight. So there's that. This is called Charmed. And again, I got this at Sally's. And it's a very just um, more of a natural pink. It's not like one of those pinks that are out there that really like, you know, it's it's not too much. So if you're trying out pink eyeshadows and you're not sure, you don't want anything too vibrant. The other three are more of vibrant pinks. Okay. And the last one... Um, I like the brand e.l.f. I have a lot of their eyeshadows. It's a cream eyeshadow, and I got this at the dollar store for a dollar. It's e.l.f. Smudge Pot, and the color is Ain't That Sweet, and it reminds me of, like, little sweet, like, candy, you know, like, candy mints, the color. So that's what the container looks like, and I, like I said, I own a lot of these. I am going to be doing a e.l.f. Um, smudge Pot eyeshadow collection video eventually. I kind of want to get a couple more, and then I was going to swatch them for you guys. So yeah, for a dollar, this is really pretty too, and this is what it looks like. I have a thing for cream eyeshadows. I love cream eyeshadows. That's what it looks like inside. So, I'm going to go ahead and swatch this one. Now, this is more like a nude pink. Like, a lot of people might tell me this is not pink, and a lot of people might agree. It's more like one of those nude, natural pinks. So, like a very light pink. Oh, this is pretty. Now, this one you might want to put more than one layer. So, the amount I have on my wrist right now is a good amount, especially if, you know, you're a person that don't like to ha doesn't like to have he uh, light eyeshadow on. I don't like light. I like my eyes to pop. So, let me just kind of just um, 
blend this in real quick. So yeah, this color already is really gorgeous. So that's this what this what this looks like. This is ain't that sweet. And this is the elf I got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Now they also sell elf at um, Kmart and Walmart as well. I don't know if they'll have this, but it's way cheaper to get this at the Dollar Tree. Um, so yeah, some Dollar Tree makeup is very good. Some it is not, so it just depends, you know, what you like and your own opinion. So yeah. And you can also use this one as a highlighter as well, the e.l.f. Ain't That Sweet Cream Eyeshadow. So, you know, you can use some eyeshadows as highlighters. It's no big deal. You can play around, so, um, and use some highlighters as eyeshadows. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you a couple of my favorites. So, for the more vibrant pink eyeshadows, my two favorites are um, the LA Colors Shimmer Loose Eyeshadow with Brush, the color Lollipop. That's one of my favorites. And another favorite, which is actually my first favorite, is Marabella Eye Lights Pink Blossom. And those are the pink vibrant ones I really enjoy. Um, and I also like this e.l.f. one for a more of like a natural pink look. But this one is very pigmented, so... And that's a good thing. I love anything pigmented that has very good pigmentation and very just, I like very vibrant eyeshadows. I've always been like that. So if you guys know anywhere I can get a lot of vibrant eyeshadows, comment down below. Um, it can be from anywhere. So um, I'm done showing you guys my pink eyeshadow collection. I want to show you guys two more things. So if you're curious what the lipstick I'm wearing today is the Kitty, it's the Catty Cat Matte Lipstick by Katy Perry and it's by CoverGirl. Um, Katy Perry made her own colors, um, so she, you know, designed it herself. And the color I'm wearing is called Cosmo Kitty and this is a lilac purple lipstick. I did show you guys this in my um, makeup haul. So that's what that looks like. So again, I'm just going to show you guys. I will be doing a video on these, um, a collection. I plan on buying more of these. I know Kmart still have in their sale. So I will make sure to pick up a couple of them if they have my Kmart. Because I got this one at Walmart. So if not, I will go back to Walmart and get this. And then, if you're curious on um, anything else, just comment down below. Um, stay tuned for my purple eyeshadow collection. Um, I only have a few of those as well, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you my makeup collections because some of you guys might want to purchase the same things. Um, let's see what else. Uh, other than that, I have some more makeup hauls coming up and more um, just hauls, period. If you guys want me to do a review on any of these products, comment down below. If you guys like any of these products, please comment down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!